Hi and welcome back. I'm going to show you today how to repurpose a kid's backdoor storage unit into a little herb garden. I had this planted last year. It was really cute. It did quite well and having the herbs all handy just outside the door was really lovely. What I've done is two litter pot bottles and I've made a slit in this one to where I'm going to cut it. I have one right here that's already done. So what will happen is you have the upside down top, a little bit of hemp twine in there to help wake it up, a little stone in there to keep it in place. Put that in so it's nice and even. Fill your dirt on top of it, plant your seeds, give it a little water. And then down here in the bottom of the bottle is where the water is going to sit. Your plant, it will wake it right up, it will water itself. Keep an eye on the water levels. It gets really hot here in the summertime when we do have water restrictions. So I like using this. It uses less water in the long run to keep our herbs fresh. It's pretty neat, so I'll show you how it's done. All right, so what I've done is I've just made a little starter slit into the bottle. I pretty much know what I'm going to do. I use the nutritional label as a guideline here and follow that little line where it tells you all that information. So we're just going to cut around the bottle like this. got two parts. I'm not worried about it being perfect or centered or completely even. I'm going to take a little bit of my hemp twine, a little cut there. Now this goes upside down so the funnel part looks like a funnel. Thread your hemp twine in there. Make sure you leave enough at the top so it can wake up, enough at the bottom to draw the water. Oh, this one's a little big. I'll shove it in there. I like to point it so that the top of the bottle is right in the middle of the four little knobby things at the bottom. It's got the best chance at wicking up that way. Got a little rock I stick right in the top of the funnel there to help keep my dirt inside where I want it to be. Fill that with dirt. Pop it in one of the holders on the storage container there and uh, plant some seeds in it. I have some moist soil in here now. Excellent. Still. All right, so we're going to actually set this up. Uh, first things first, you want to label your bottles that you're putting in there. I do have this sketched down on paper in the house on how I want it to look in the end. But because the herbs grow at different levels, you're going to want to be able to move them around so that they can all get maximum light and you may lose track of where you've put what. So today I'm planting lemon balm in here. I've got a piece of duct tape. I'm just going to put it down low where you can't see. Write lemon balm on there with my handy dandy marker. I'm also going to put the date down. May 1st. Yay, happy May. So now what I'm going to do is take some slightly moistened soil that I have here in my bucket and just lay it in there, covering up everything. Put the rock in there so it's not going to go through. I guess I should have sifted this a little bit better. No big deal. I don't want to fill it up too full because when you water it, you don't want the water to push your dirt and your seeds out. So that's very important to remember. So I've got that topped up a little bit. Poke a couple of holes in there where I want to drop a couple of these seeds. So, lemon balm. So here we have some lemon balm that we're going to plant. Put the seeds in a little container so that they don't fly away on me. I'm 
drop a couple little seeds in each hole. It's not perfect, it's okay. Quite little, can you focus in on those? Yep. Awesome. Then, I'm just going to top it up with a little tiny bit of dirt on top. And I'm going to give it a water. It's going to be really neat. You'll see the water come down into the holding area and get the wick all wet and it'll start wicking itself up. Probably just going to push all the seeds up too. But that's okay. We can just top it with a little bit more dirt. So now as the water sinks down through the dirt, it'll collect down at the bottom there. very slow process. And once you do this a little bit more, you'll un you know understand how much it holds at the bottom, how much more you need to add. When the dirt seems a little dry on top, you might want to check it. Add a little bit more. wouldn't worry too much about that dirt at the bottom. It will settle in the funnel part of the lid there. You won't lose too much dirt. So that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to pop this in the top slot where I have it, where I want it, and uh, have to update as things sprout and start to grow in there. Alright, so there's water that's accumulated down here. I'm going to stick this in the little slot where I want it, and then we'll do some updates as things grow and sprout. So we've got lots of water now in the reservoir and uh, we're going to pop this right into where I'd like it in the slot. Definitely give you updates as things sprout and grow and as I put more plants in there, I'm going to fill the rest of it up just like I did here and uh, we'll see how things grow. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.